Welcome Taurus. This is Renee and welcome. This is going to be your May reading. So we'll get right down to it. See what's going on for Taurus in May. We're going to take a look at love, money, what challenges you'll be facing, advice, and then um, whatever else we get into. Thank you for flushing the toilet while I was recording. Okay, Taurus, let's get into your love. What's going on for Taurus? We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there may be some issues between some parental, you know, situations. Just a moment. Okay. And let's take a look at the energy with your money. Okay, we have a time for healing. Yeah, that actually kind of coincides with, you know, dealing with some kind of parental issues. This could be your parent in general, or this could be you parenting with someone else. You know, you may have issues with the way someone else is dealing with your children right if you have children or this could be the way your parents have dealt with you okay so let's go ahead and get a fortune oracle we have the owl there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition okay so i feel like you're going through some kind of spiritual transformation my lovely taurus there's something happening in the month of May that is transitioning you. That's, you know, and I'm really getting the death card where you're going through some kind of ending and new beginning. There's something that's transforming in your life. Okay. Um, some kind of cycle that you may be ending. Okay, let's get into your messages. What's going on in the month of May for Taurus? Messages for Taurus for the month of May. Messages for Taurus for the month of May. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mercury. For Taurus energy. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so there's some kind of offer here. There's some kind of proposal. There's some kind of uh, message that you will be receiving um, during this time of May. Okay, and we have the Hangman. What other messages? Ooh, someone's looking at you. Someone's doing their research. Someone may be spying on you. Um, this is kind of stalkerish energy, right? Give me more messages. What's going on with Taurus? the star in reverse okay now we have a time for healing we have the star here but the star is in reverse 
So, I feel like the month of May, you should be going through this time of healing, but I feel like you're kind of moving past it. Yeah, look at this. We have the Knight of... We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So, my lovely Taurus. Okay, I feel like during the month of May, definitely you are, you're releasing some kind of energy. You're releasing some kind of energy. Maybe you're willing to sacrifice a certain situation. Maybe you're, you're willing to sacrifice your time. You're willing to sacrifice your time is what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. Um, because this page of swords energy, this could be, you know, you are, or someone around you is very curious. They want to know about the way something works. And I feel like with this hangman with the, the page of swords, there's something that you're very curious about that you really want more knowledge of. You know, you're trying to gain your wisdom. You're trying to look past the obvious to gain a better perspective. You know, um, there is a message that's coming in for you. Um, and I feel like you are looking for a message. You're looking for a surprise to happen. Um, but I feel like during this month of May, you're basically following your heart. You're following the lead of where your feelings are taking you, you know, because I feel like, you know, you are in this star energy, but your star is reversed. So there's some things that you're insecure about. There's some things that you know, you may need to release because there's there's discouraging energy here, okay? There's a need to let go of something. Maybe it's the need to let go of being impulsive, you know, or being defensive, rushing into a situation, okay? So during the month of May, I feel like, you know, rushing into a situation is going to have its con consequences. So there, there's a real need for you to listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. See what that tells you. Don't rush into a situation. Let something take its time. Find out more information. Gain a new perspective. You know, um, but I feel like you need to see something from a different point of view during the month of May. Okay, and we're going to look deeper into this. Okay, let's take a look at Taurus's money situation. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm liking that. Let's take a look at Taurus's money situation. Ooh, the Ace of Wands. Actually, I'm going to put that there. The Ace of Wands. So new money coming in. This could be a new job proposal, new ideas, a new business venture. But you're beginning something. This is new energy as far as your money. So I feel like there's going to be some kind of increase. There's some some kind of abundance here, right? The two of cups. There may be someone that you're partnering up with to gain more income, you know, or this could be new love coming in. Yeah, well, there we have the lovers. So this is a partnership that's going to increase your abundance. And I feel like this is going to um, come in very unexpectedly you know 
the the eight of wands we don't see that coming that's very unexpected energy you know some kind of action being taken very unexpectedly some kind of message coming in very unexpectedly right you you don't see it coming so i feel like you know there may be a situation towards to where if you're starting a new relationship this either this happens at work or this brings in more money for you right maybe you're moving in together maybe you're pulling your money together and that brings in more money more more abundance for you but i feel like this is a very good partnership this is a very good reading because there's a lot of beginnings and opportunities new ideas and new blessings okay and this is going to be a surprise this is very unexpected so i feel like you know what's coming forward for you is going to be <laughs> increasingly abundant right so let's take a look at your challenge Let's take a look at what's going to be challenging you. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, the Temperance, the Hangman, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so, and we have the Sun on the bottom. So whatever this is that's challenging you, you're going to get through it. You know, you're going to be successful in this challenge. There's reciprocity here. You know, you are getting a heads up. Okay, so my lovely Taurus, I feel like there's something that you have to leave behind. There's something that, you know, you may be grieving right now. Um, but I feel like you're you're having patience in the situation. You're having a lot of patience. You may need to see if this is an argument or if this is a disagreement with someone, you may need to see their point of view. Um, I feel like spirit is asking you to look at things from a different perspective, maybe see things in a different light with the seven of cups. The seven of cups could also be confusion um being confused in the situation the three of cups energy this is relying on your community on your social setting finding that support within your social group to you know be able to be okay but there is something that happens in the month of may that will leave you very that will leave you sad right it's some kind of loss some kind of disappointment but i feel like with this temperance card you are going to be fine because you're 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 trying to find the meaning of the situation you know you may be reflecting and trying very hard to figure out why this five of cups is happening you know but you have patience you're looking at things from a different perspective. You may be still confused by the situation, but I feel like you have very supportive people that are around you that are helping you through this. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. I'm going to clarify a little bit for this challenge. We're going to get some advice, but I feel like your advice is already here. Okay, so I'm not going to go very deep into it. Tell me what this Five of Cups energy is. What is this Five of Cups energy? The Judgment. The Knight of Cups. The Five of Cups energy, this could be the need to break out of your comfort zone. Okay. You may have been very comfortable for a very long time with the situation you were in. And now, for some reason, the situation had ended. This could be a job that you had been in for a very long time, a 
relationship that you had been in for a very long time but i feel like this five of cups energy you're being moved out of your comfort zone that's the reason why you're grieving okay but i feel like you you have all the advice here okay so it's time to move at a place where you've always been and move into something new the judgment card also speaks about new birth a new beginning you know, having a second chance at something. So, and I feel like whatever this challenge is, you know, you have your advice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to clarify this love real quick at the top. Give me a message for Taurus for love, please. Why is the hangman and the page of swords here? Why is the hangman and the page of swords here? Give me a message. The five of swords. No, the four of swords. Okay. You, you may need to put yourself first in a situation. You know, you may need to take a rest, take a step back, look at things in a different light in a, a certain love situation if this is what you are letting go of it's time to put yourself first it's time to release that energy and you know finally take a step back and focus on self for a while you know uh, be rejuvenized why is the star and the knight of swords here the the queen of cups yeah, I feel like someone is protecting their heart. Someone is pretty emotional. We have the devil on the bottom. This is Capricorn energy. Um, so someone is very emotional. But I feel like someone's protecting their feelings. Okay? Um, the Queen of Cups, this may also be the need of to stay calm. To stay cool, calm, and collected in a situation, right? Even if it's this devil energy, this negativity that's holding you. And I feel like there's negativity and confusion. Okay? So in love, there's something that's kind of keeping you confused in the situation. Right? And I feel like that is your challenge. That has to do with your challenge. Is this love situation but I feel like with your finances here your finances are going so well this could also be new love coming into your life through these finances right um, so what whatever energy you know you're getting the devil card this is some kind of addiction some kind of codependency this can also be like being too materialistic um, but I feel like you're trying very hard to move past that. You know, you're trying to make changes. Look at this. You know, you're trying to make changes in your situation. We have the, um, the devil card, the seven of cups, the six of swords and the wheel of fortune. Okay. So something that you're doing, you're trying to move past this energy. You're trying to move this pack past this energy if this is addiction is if this is negative energy you know feeling controlled manipulated okay you're moving away from that you're making changes okay so that is beautiful energy so my lovely Taurus okay let's go ahead and get into Clarifying your finances real quick. Give me more of a message on Taurus's finances. Why is the Ace of Wands here in the Two of Cups? Message for Taurus. Why is the Ace of Wands here in the Two of Cups? The Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. 
the Six of Wands. Yes, something is going to be very successful. This is being recognized. This is being rewarded for your past efforts. You know, so something that you've done in the past is bringing you a lot of rewards and recognition during the month of May. Okay? Um, why is the lovers here in the Eight of Wands? Why is the lovers here in the Eight of Wands? The Knight of Pentacles. Yes, something is here to provide stability. Something that you've been waiting for. Something that has been like in this stuck energy. Um, something is finally coming through. The Knight of Pentacles is also good news. Hard work. You know, your hard work is paying off. Uh, something that you're doing very efficiently is paying off. You know, so whatever you've done in the past, you, you, you're you seeing success for all of the hard work that you've done. So your finances are looking very good in the month of May. Okay, we have the hover font on the bottom. So this is tradition. This is, you know, doing something um, the way it's supposed to be done, you know. Um, it's also... Teaching and learning lessons. The Howard Fund can also mean marriage as well. So there could be a situation to where, you know, you, if you're involved in a marriage, you know, I feel like maybe you're not putting in as much time as you should into your marriage. Okay, maybe you're being kind of selfish or there's kind of conflicts happening in a marriage in the month of May. And I, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to say that, but there is a tower moment here when it comes to marriage. There is a tower moment. So there are going to be some kind of changes. Now, towers don't always have to be bad, but the cards around it are saying that, you know, this is very unexpected. Yeah. For some of you. This isn't for all of you. This is for some of you. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at some angel cards for you. Take a look at some angel cards. Get some angel guidance. Cool. Okay, so we have Nurture. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Be both, acti both activities are important for you right now. So there may be a need for you to nurture a certain situation. You know, um, there's something that needs a lot of care and guidance. There's something that, that you need to put some love into. Right? Something needs to be taken care of. And I feel like... If, if, this reason, if this reading resonates with you, you already know what that is. You know what you need to put the extra time and effort into. Okay? So, we also have sensitivity. Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Okay? So, that could be due to that Seven of Cups energy. You know, you have the Seven of Cups twice. So there could definitely be some kind of confusion, some kind of situation to where you're a little bit more sensitive than you should be at the moment. So it's time to take extra care with sensitive feelings at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the meaning of this owl. We have the owl, number 23. Okay. What does the owl signify? There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Okay. 
So the owl offers universal protection. Your intuition will develop and help will come to you from spirit. You are at a crossroads in your life. As the owl symbolizes great wisdom and changes ahead, this card may also indicate that you will soon commence a course of study. You will gain much insight and may counsel or teach others. As far as personal relationships, you will be heavily in demand personally and very popular. You will also be very protective of your family. With all of your newly gained knowledge and wisdom, you may become involved in helping people. Okay, and money and career. A thirst of knowledge and greater understanding will see you further in your career by taking new skills. There is a possible career move and possible profitable times ahead for self-employment. Healthier ways of living starting now, including exercise plans, will be successful. Take time out to stop and listen. You may pick up on some secret information, a great tip to improve your finances, or hear about a particular extra source of income or a new job. Okay, and Serena's power tip. Place an owl in your home for increased intuition, protection, and wisdom in your child's room for study and success or on your desk for career climbing. Okay, so that's what we have for the owl. So let's go ahead and get your angel number. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? The month of May. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, so we have 1717, self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, your ambition. You have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. As you take leadership in your life, excuse me, as I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay, so that is your angel number, my beautiful Taurus. So this is your May reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Smash that like button for your girl, please. And uh, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. And my beautiful Taurus, many blessings to you. To your next reading, love and light. Thank you.